Hi guys, this is teacher Maria and today at our school of SFB we are going to sculpt an ox. Because the upcoming Chinese zodiac year is the year of metal ox. These are pictures of real oxen. As you can see they have pretty long legs and massive body. But we are not making a realistic sculpture today, rather a decorative one. Uh, we will make the body rounder and legs shorter to make it more stable and simplify the form to make it like a cute little ornament. I start from making a clay ball and eventually turn it into a roll. Then I pull out some clay um, in two places, one on the back and the other one in the middle of my clay roll. These are going to be front and back legs. I also shape out the neck and the head and make sure that my ox looks smooth and symmetrical. I split the legs and also make sure that they look even. I feel that the clay is getting dry, I dip my fingers in water. Oxen have really wide chest and neck and I will exaggerate it in my sculpture. I can skip many details, but my sculpture won't look like an ox without long pointy horns and I will add them now. Please do not make them too thin, they might crack and connect them really, really well with the head so they won't fall off once they get dry and a little bit smaller. Make sure that the head looks triangular, nose and um, mouth part is smaller and add the eyes and the nostrils. Try to make them look symmetrical too. You can use a tip of a sharp pencil for that. And the shape of my ox is ready. Uh, now I will dip my finger in water and make the surface smooth again. And I am going to add ornaments. I'm inspired by different Chinese ornaments, uh, traditional ones that you normally see on uh, New Year decorations and um, some um, swirls that you normally see on pottery. It is optional. If you do not want to color your ox, you don't have to. But I thought it would be fun and I'm helping myself with drawing this pattern before painting it. If you decide to add pattern to your work, make confident lines. If you want to fix a part of a line, you can smear it with some wet finger and redraw it again. If you decide to add a tail, uh, make sure it sticks to the body, otherwise it will crack and break. There are little particles of clay on my work and I'm removing them with a wet brush. Um, it's a good idea to let your um, surface dry for a bit and then start painting it. Remember to paint with the very tip of your brush and always point the tip of your brush at the line you're outlining. If your brush gets too dry, dip it into water and color mixture again. And don't forget to shape it out with a piece of paper towel. The lucky colors of the metal ox here are blue, gold, purple, um, silver, white, and I'm using some of them in my palette. Feel free to use them too or make your own color palette. All right, I'm fixing some final imperfections and my ox is ready. Now it's time to make yours. Good luck!